good morning everybody uh, Dan mr. vinyl fury uh, this one's for you uh, uh, entry into the 300 subscribers contest uh, two two very interesting questions <laughs> uh, which I'm just going to jump into uh, I'm still tired up late last night on uh, the the YouTube Facebook page <laughs> I got a little silly. Whatever. Uh, number one question. Who are some bands or artists that you used to like, but no longer like or care for? Um, <laughs> one immediately popped into mind. Uh, and it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a rapper. Uh, I don't care. I don't. I, I really don't like rap. Every now and then I'll hear something. It's like, oh, that's kind of interesting. Or the roots are kind of like, oh yeah, you know, that's kind of good. But I just, I don't care for rap. Uh, I guess I'm too white. <laughs> but, but, uh, 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 DMX. Uh, I don't know why, for some reason, in middle school, I kind of got into a little bit of a rap phase. Uh, I really didn't go out and buy anything except for two DMX records, uh, records, CDs. Uh, and I... You know, when, when, last night when I was thinking of these questions, I decided to go on YouTube and, and I went on and I was listening to, you know, one of the albums I had and I was like, why did I like this? <laughs> this is like, I, I couldn't quite figure it out. And then one song came, one song, Damien, I clicked on that one and it all clicked. It was like, that's why I liked it. This guy was out of his mind. <laughs> but even now, listening to it back, it's like, Ugh, no, I don't like it. Uh, I don't like DMX. Uh, I don't care for rap. So there's one. Uh, another one that kind of popped into my mind was uh, Corn. I used to be big into fucking Corn. Again, in middle school, just huge. Love them. Um, but as time progressed, it was like they just got worse and worse and worse. And like, still, I, I really dig the first three albums. The first three albums up until, uh, what was that one? Not Life is Peachy. The one after that. I can't remember. I still enjoy those albums. And I wish I had them on vinyl. But, but their newer stuff is like crap. And most people probably don't know this. But end, end of last year, they released an album. And it was like a bona fide pop record. It was fucking horrible. Oh, man. I was like, get that shit away from me. <laughs> um, oh, I, don't, I don't know if I could think of... Oh, Slipknot. Slipknot, kind of along the same lines. When I was younger, I, just, I used to love the hardest things I could find. You know, a, a, a Cradle of Filth. Uh, Soulfly, Slipknot, uh, all those things. It's like I listen to them now. I was like, eh, it's okay. Uh, but I used to really love them when I was a kid. <laughs> I used to really love them. Uh, moving on to the second question, which is basically the total opposite. Uh, who are some bands or artists that you used to not care for or dislike, but that you now enjoy? And for this one, I'm going to group jazz as a genre together. When I was younger, I did not care for jazz at all. And now it's like, that's all I want. <laughs> uh, when, I was, when I was a kid, when I, when I was really first starting to appreciate music, which was the beginning of, of middle school, I didn't like instrumentals. I mean, at all. Uh, uh, it's weird. I, I liked songs that were that had a, a, a hook to them that were that had lyrics I loved lyrics and now I don't really care for lyrics at all and when I find a record that I'm actually enjoying the lyrics where the lyrics captivate me it's a weird experience because I don't really care for lyrics anymore so I know this one's very vague but but jazz in general as when I was younger, I didn't care for it. I thought, you know, all jazz was just elevated music. It was not good. <laughs> it was not good at all. Uh, but
But slowly over time, I started to gain an, an understanding and an appreciation for jazz music. And I'm sure I've said this before, but all of that came from Frank Zappa. My father was a big Frank Zappa fan. When I was younger, I used to listen to Frank Zappa records. And I slowly got to get an appreciation for the instrumental songs and the instrumental parts of Zappa's songs. And then as time progressed, I realized, well, hold on. He, he's all influenced by jazz. So then I started to open up a little bit more. And then that's when I started discovering the more wild side of jazz. <laughs> you know, like, like uh, uh, Eric Dolphy or uh, who's my favorite saxophone and, and bass clarinet player uh, or, or Sun Ra who's just way out there really loves Sun Ra so I mean you know Frank, Frank Zappa is like he, he was my gateway drug <laughs> into jazz so you know uh, but yes at, when I was a child I hated jazz couldn't stand it didn't understand why people wrote it didn't understand why people listened to it now it that's all I want the, the rare occasions where I actually go into a record store, which I don't do very often, I immediately just, whoo, straight to the jazz section. <laughs> so, uh, I, I hope that's a satisfactory answer for you, Dan. But um, that, that, that's, that's, that's my entry, I guess. That's all I can think of right now. Um, congratulations to you. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I really, really like, I really always like, your, your entries, you know, and and, and the, the way you are, your personality, you're very sort of monotone about everything, so you're like, oh, here's this, and da da da, da. but it's still cool, it's captivating, because the shit you're showing, you know, I just, I always love that, so, once again, uh, congratulations on the 300, uh, you deserve so much more, and I'm sure you will get so much more, and until next time.